Alright, welcome to the next episode of the TK Podcast with your boys, Rowan Over Tray 15. <laughs> and of course, myself, King's Hockey. <laughs> How you doing today, Trey? Yo, 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 it's your boy, Rover Noah, T-R-E-Y, 15, yo, I'm doing... <laughs> Turning 16 tomorrow, yeah. Kappa. Hey, <laughs> up. A lot older than that, but you know, okay, not a lot older, okay. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, but, uh... Not too many gray hairs yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I'm pretty much been on the, the grind, the ever, the never-ending grind that is platoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you've been up to. I uh, uh, hopped all the way up to S plus 70 and then like got the most scrubby teammates of all time and dropped all the way down to S plus 17. Mm. Everybody, yeah, I just wanted to smack them. Well, outside of gaming and anime, what you've been up to, kind of, in general? In general? That's tough. That's a tough one. Well, maybe outside of like kind of our normal game and stuff, but like you watch them, I know you watch some SF5 streams. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we watch the streams of, I guess it's their weekly tournaments where they have a Wednesday and a Sunday one. Yeah. And I got to say that I'm loving Vega in that game. Like, man, he's the main reason I want to play that game. Yeah, you like Vega in in the last game, too. Yeah, dude, he's the main reason. Like, dude, he's... Hey, so so you're talking about Vega, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, Vega, to me, Vega is that game's Wonder Woman where... You know, he's kind of got the, like, you know, he has, like, zero projectile game, just like Wonder Woman has. But he has that range, like the whip she had. Which right. Is, you know, not the greatest tool in the world, but, you know, it's just enough. And she's got the YOLO demigod of smite that she can get in with, where mm-hmm. he's got the YOLO, YO! Yeah! Uh, shenanigans. He's also got that crazy special, whatever it is, where he, like, freaking dashes at him, you know, he throws something at him and dashes, throws oh, the rose at him. Oh, special, the flower? Yeah, he throws the rose at him and... Yeah. Like, is that move, does that work in the air too? I think it works in the air, right? I think it does. That's one of those moves where if you press the button, he would pretty much hit you, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think he needed it a lot because... Well, not to use a Splatoon reference, but yeah, let me use a Splatoon reference. <laughs> kind of like in a Splatoon where a lot of the short-range weapons, they can't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, can't press the sniper, they'll have a sonic whale or an Zuka to be able to get the sniper. It's yeah. kind of like that where, you know, he has absolutely no way to get in a lot of times. Right. But, you know, if it's the end of the match, you can't just throw out a Hadouken because it goes through a Hadouken, doesn't it? Um, it probably does. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't remember. I want to say it goes through it. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say it goes through fireballs. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it's one of those things where he can, where if you press a button, you know, it's kind of like you have to let him in pretty much. Right. Type deal. I'm trying to think yeah. of a character in Justice right now that that kind of reminds me of, where he, where he gets his special when you got uh, Superman. In. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. There we go, like Superman. You know, where you have to let him in. Oh yeah, he couldn't even freaking touch anything on Superman. Yeah, although I gotta say that's completely different because yeah. he can still zone you out, so. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure there's another, I can't think of a character right now. Mm, yeah, know. maybe more like Catwoman maybe, kind of. Yeah. I mean, although hers wasn't an aerial one, but it was still kind of, you kind of had to let her in because of the way. Wait, 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 wait. no, she didn't. I'm thinking, no, I'm thinking about her meter burn one, not her special. Yeah, because her special was a real close range. Yeah, something about her meter burn. But, I mean, it was similar to how her meter burn works. You know, I know there's another character. I just can't think of one. It was similar <laughs> to how her meter burn worked, where you literally had to, you know, let her in. Yeah. Just because you were, like, you know, trying to back dash away from Lamar type of deal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but... So yeah, I'm really liking Vega, and I'm liking that Vega Dawson matchup. I think that could be five five. I'm not gonna go ahead and say it's six four. I think, you know, well, I'm thinking it's five five. I've been watching the streams too, and I kind of brought up this subject of what we've been doing because I've been doing a lot. Like, like, well, other than your birthday, March is a still a land of birthdays because it was my little brother's birthday not too long ago and they he was over this weekend he has a ps4 and uh um he brought some games with him but 
I convinced them to rent Street Fighter V from Redbox, so we played Street Fighter V. <laughs> and just to let you know, my bro both of my brothers are not like fighting game people like we are, kind of. But, you know, so it's not like I was playing, you know, I, well, we were just starting the game anyway. I didn't know any combos and stuff, but I got a feel for some of the characters. Nikali, I wanted to try him, but he was too weird without knowing anything. Yeah, well, have you gone to GameStop and played that at all? Uh uh Yeah, he's one of the characters at GameStop. You know, I tried him, and, you know, the thing with mine was that you can't even see his moves. I mean, I kind of figured some of them out, but I was like, dude, what is the deal with this character? Yeah, so I couldn't well, figure him out. I I, I, I kind of played more of the characters that I yeah, knew. Because, yeah. you know, they hadn't changed that much. Like, well, Dawson, uh, I, Dawson, I was still able to pick up and play like it was nothing. Like, I mean, he didn't change. He changed a lot, but he still went hard to figure out, and he was just a beast. I only picked him maybe two times because he was so cheap. Like, I mean, versus, yeah, like, but, somebody yeah, that versus don't somebody know. That doesn't, yeah, he's kind of like one of those, um, you know, kind of like a Sinestro-type character. I mean, his only character in general where it's like, if you yeah. don't even know what to do, you're just going to get eaten up by... Yeah, he's this, this he's definitely a gatekeeper, you know, like a tournament yeah. and stuff. Like if you can't be, if you haven't if you haven't gotten to a certain level, you know, you just get ran over. <laughs> yeah. But but I played. I think uh, well, I played Mika, and she was cool. But I wanted to figure out what she did. Yeah, but, she's a confusing character for me because is she a grappler? Like I don't even understand what she really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a grappler, but she has kind of like. Well, she's supposed to be like a luchador, but she has kind of like uh, uh, all these crazy different setups and stuff. And like, you know, with yeah, her V-trigger. I don't even understand like her V-triggers like, uh, what do you call it? What do I want to say? I don't understand her V-triggers like hit or I, I want to say gimmick. Like, I don't get it. Like, it just seems like another move. I mean, does it make her safe on block like the best? Yeah. I'm not safe on block, but you know, like extra pressure or something? Or? Yeah, because you can kind of like press a button and like send in that extra buddy like, to it, hit. Is she in overhead when she does that? Or yeah, I think so. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure if it is or not. Because if that was the case, it looks better. But to me, it just looks, I'm not going to say it looks bad, but you know, it's like saying, um, dude, who am I going to go? Yeah, it's like saying uh, Wonder Woman's, uh, you know, her trait is good, but it was like, uh, yo, there's like this thing called bats, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got like, you. Yeah, it's like, her seems good, but just like from all the others I've seen, that, yeah, it's like, kind of better. Um, I tried, um, Nash, he was just as I thought, he was so vanilla, so easy, and like, kind of like, you know, pick up and play, but I didn't really... Um, so oh, my brothers really liked him. him on your brothers. Like, I would have spammed like so bad. You know, there's no way they would have stopped that uh, meter burn one where he does those extra uh, kicks. Yeah. Well, and actually, my... It looks like it's safe, but yeah. Yeah. Actually, one of my brothers ended up playing with him a lot because he was so easy your to pick up play. Your second oldest brother? Or? Yeah. Um, yeah, oh, I, yeah, I could have seen that. Yeah. And, yeah. What character he picked. <laughs> and my youngest brother liked Cammy because he could just press buttons and do. Because um, you know, like when you. Well, she's also a Lucina ass character. Well, a... anytime you start a fighting game, you know, like, I don't know if y'all out there know this, but anytime you start a fighting game, you know, you're both starting at the same level, just beginning, just pick up and play. The dominant thing is going to be Crouch Jab. <laughs> <laughs> Or like, you know, low attacks, like super bad low attacks, that's going to be the cheapest because you don't know, you know, all the other stuff and you just want to hit him in the legs and make him stay still. And so that's all Cammy is, you know, she's like, does those cannon drills and hit you real fast and real low and like, it, she's everywhere too. So he's just, you know, pressing all the buttons. And what he'd do is he would like, do. it was actually kind of hard at a certain point because I was, um, ended up maining, you know, for the day, <laughs> Man and Geef. Um, but what he would do is he would do a move like cannon drill or do like something else, and then he'd do his uppercut. And her uppercut like is with her legs, so she kicks up, but then she lands like far away from you backwards. So it's like super hard to punish. So I was getting so mad about that. But so <laughs> what I had to do is just like sit underground, just wait for him to press all the buttons. Um, 
do the uppercut, and then I get like one jab off him since I didn't know any combos, but it's just like a slow match. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, because uh, I was gonna say, and uh, like if you knew what you're doing, you probably get like a jab into a command grab off. Of yeah, him. or something. I did get some sweet setups. Like I was reading them like crazy and just. Ju Let me tell you, the best thing in this game. Well. There's a couple best things, and they're all with Geef. Yeah, I was going to say, they're all very good, but go ahead. Dude, now, when they jump in the air, and you read that they're going to jump in the air, and you do a 360 command grab, dude, do you know how embarrassing that is? It's because, you, like, you know, you had to crank it all the way around to get the 360, so you had to do Yay! that junk, like, way ahead of time. So that's, like, the ultimate read, you know they're going to do it. And I would just grab them and just, like, spin around, doop, drop them. I was like, dude, that is awesome. And then he has his fist where he charges back and then punches you in the face so hard, like with the crush counter or whatever. And that move is awesome. Geef is just awesome all around. I was going to say, also with Vega, like, dude, not only did they give him, like, un, like, you know, give him the charges, but they gave him a true cross up. Like, dude, he was so trashed in the last game because he did not have a cross up. They're like, oh, well, he's got the air shenanigans, again, so he doesn't need a cross up. Dude, yeah. bull crap. Dude, like, all his air shenanigans suck because he didn't Dude. have a true cross up, so you never had a guard for it. No, I tried yeah. Vega, and he's just not my character. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, Vega's Bay, man. He's awesome. Yeah. You like those long range pokers yeah. and stuff? Dude, he's awesome. The only problem I'd have to do is the command grab. How was the command grab? Was it um, 360 motion? Um, it, I don't remember, but it, you had to change out of his claw to do yeah. it. Yeah. So. Because they actually did it where I actually saw that technically without the claw he's better, but you know he has a range with the claw, and so he's kind of like a Lucario type character when yeah. you go for the comeback. Um, yeah. And another thing that's awesome with Geef is where you just <clears throat> and you flex right in front of him and take the hit and then punch him for it. Dude, that that's awesome. Okay, I'm not gonna say. Ryu is obviously base level, super easy, like, you know. Oh, yeah, I sure. was going to say, that would be who was the first guy I'd pick in the game, because you yeah. know what to do with him. Yeah, Ken is, too, pretty easy. Um, Rashid, Rashid, my the middle, my middle brother, my second oldest brother, you know, or the closest one aged me, picked Rashid, too, and was just pressing buttons, and it was working. Because... <laughs> Because he throws out all these crazy tornadoes, and I had to just, like, duck and cover and just wait. Because he was just flying, and he's like, flies through the air at you and does all this stuff. I was like, dude, what in the world oh, is going on? Oh, you see how super good he does against Dawson, too? I'm sure he does, yeah, because he can just... see that? Like, no, I didn't see guy, that. He got bought. You know the guy that won the tournament that picked Karen? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that uh, fraudulent girl, but, uh, yeah, he's... <laughs> but uh, he got bodied, like... Like 6 0 against him, you know, we're talking about like, you know, he lost it, you know, it was like re three rounds, so he got body mm -hmm. 6 0. And then, yeah, you know, everyone was like, oh, he's gonna get body 6 0 against, um, you know, NYC Furby 2 Amada, but he took him and almost won it. Because mm -hmm. the thing that Rashid could do, and it was a thing that I can't remember one of the commentators who it was, but he was saying that when Vega was playing him, he was like, he needs to keep jumping off the wall. And they're like, nah, that wouldn't work because he'd read it or whatever. He's like, nah, he needs to keep doing it. And they're like, nah, that wouldn't work, you know. But then what Rashid guy was doing was that he would keep jumping backwards. And then if Dawson tried to read it with a teleport, he could sometimes fake it out with jumping off the wall. You know how, um, like, Vega and Rashid, you know, they can jump off, you yeah. know, the invisible, you know, fourth wall screen. Type right, thing. right, right. But what he would do is he would jump off that so it would, like, mess him up. Or he could just jump back and then, like, do his um, um, Liu Kang foot, you know, where he, like, goes in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he could meter burn it so he could go through him so it would be safe. And so, you know, it was, like, just messing him up. And he should have won, except he, like, screwed up at the end. So he was, like, actually bodying him and almost beat him. Man. Well, truth be told, I'm glad he lost because he could not do anything against that Karen dude. Um, fraudulent girl, yeah. Yeah. You can't do anything about Jezebel, yeah. But, <laughs> Jezebel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I think, yeah. And, and Chun Li, I picked up and could play like already because I played her in Street Fighter 4 a little bit and she's like pretty much the same. Didn't they say she was getting nerfed like she was the first official character to get nerfed? Maybe, but she's... I mean, from what I haven't seen too many people pick her, so I don't understand what's so bad about her. Mm. 
Because they are saying something she does is like super safe. So I guess she has some move that she can do that's super safe. But the only the only Chudley I saw got absolutely destroyed by a Ryu. Yeah. And so I mean I haven't seen. Yeah, I haven't probably. seen her in tournament really. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. I'm not but sure dude. she's an online warrior character. <laughs> the kidding. fact that they're nerfing her because I guess she has some thing that it's like you know it's supposed to be super cheap that you can spam. Well, two characters that I have seen do well in tournament and are definitely like pick them and play like obviously good. Bison, oh my lord, dude. Dude, that, yeah, I've been saying the same thing. Oh my thing lord, that, dude. I don't even that know character. what to do. Like he's too strong. Like you know, he hits too hard. All his specials, dude. All his specials. <laughs> are bruh. Like you know, Yo. some characters uh, you can't do that. But dude, all of his specials. Good gracious. Mm -hmm. Dude, he could spam one special the whole match and probably, you know, he could do it. Yeah, oh yeah. Like those overhead kicks that I still don't understand, you know, that he just like flips halfway across the screen that's super safe. Or that, you oh, know, yeah. the change up where he just jumps in the air and then like changes it up. His, his V trigger is borderline broken. Oh yeah. Like, dude, everything about that character, man. Oh my god. Indeed. But probably the character, one of the other characters I hated and my brother picked him the most was Birdie, dude. Birdie. I, I haven't seen him. He has these, like, Who long range. That? He's a big fat dude that can throw bananas and, like, yeah, uh, I, have, I have literally not seen him. Cans and stuff like that. And, dude, just the one move of him, like, freaking throwing out the chains from, like, so far and grabbing you. It's like what dude's like crazy you know i don't know and he's he's i don't know he just seems like such a weird character but he might be pretty good too i don't know yeah i literally haven't seen anything about that character oh man but yeah if i had to do a tier list based on what i've seen and i haven't seen any characters i would say that overall but like, you'd have to be super super good that dawson does seem like he's overall the best but, you know, that that's implying that you're, you know, that's saying that both people are level, level 10, you know, like, playing-wise. Mm -hmm. But I also got to say that I think Nash is right up there, too. Because, to me, Nash kind of strikes me as, as an early Sheik. You know, everybody knew that Sheik was good, but there's, you know, better characters. I mean, I know characters got nerfed, but yeah. helped her. But, you know, she was super good, but people didn't technically figure the shenanigans out. You know where it's like with the scrubber game, you can still figure out shenanigans that make them better. Yeah. But I feel like Nash is like already day one is that good. Yeah, he's super good. start finding out the shenanigans that he realized the not. Because you can play him defensive, like super defensive. I feel like one thing that people are doing too much is that they're doing the sonic boom and then teleporting. Like they'll do it like almost every time. Yeah. You know, he's getting red. But I feel like, you know, you can literally play him lame. Like, and that's the thing, that he's super offensive. But you can literally play him lame and do pretty good that way. Right, right. So I'm, like, really curious as to what they're going to do with Guile. Yeah. Well, I don't know if Guile will make it or not. Maybe he's... Nah, he's going to be in the game. You think he's so? Just gonna, he's just going to be different. I wonder if he's going to have more than two moves. Mm. Because Nash doesn't have a true flash kick, does he? I don't think so. He has something different. It's a little different. Yeah, he has that yellow. Forward, yeah. 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 I wonder if they're going to give Guy more moves, yeah. But yeah, if I had a PS4, I'd definitely be getting that game. It's pretty, pretty awesome. But uh, I also got to play my brother guys for his birthday, the J-Stars game that was on PS4 with all the anime characters. I mean that game obviously is not not competitive fighter at all, but <laughs> but I mean but it's still fun. And Yusuke or Meshi is bay in that game. The Yusuke, I was playing him like crazy. Casper yeah, brother, I was picking him like every time because he's just awesome. I figured out this awesome combo with him. Where he'd, like punch you all the time, like punch you, punch you, punch you, punch you, I'm crazy, and then he charge up the spirit shotgun and just like hit it in your chest. That was awesome. And um. What else could he? He could like charge up a spear gun and walk around like a beast and then just blast it at you or like the thing about that game is I don't think there's like there's like a move that you can do that will break the guard but there's not a move that you can there's not a grab 
Um, but some characters do have a grab, like command grab. And he's got a command grab where he jumped on you and just punched you in the face. So I just, and he could do it from the air. So I would just jump over um, my brother so I'd lay there and just like press the button and it would like lock onto him, grab him, and punch him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I missed it, like made me stand there forever. But anyways, that game was fun and it had a lot of crazy characters in it. A lot of characters from everywhere. But sometimes, you know, when you take cannon too far, that's what happened in that game. Like when, um, like everybody has like a ultimate mode, you know, like like a um, special mode, you know, like a burst mode type thing. You get it, yeah. and then you can do your special after that. But if you got that with Ichigo and you did his special, it turned into that final get to attention mode where he was like, you know, you had that final final fight with with Aizen. Yeah. But dude, after you did your special with Ichigo, he died. What? Do you know how he like lost his powers and like? All that yeah, after where yeah. he like fainted and like all that stuff. Dude, they're trying to replicate that, but he just dies in that game after that. I'm like, dude, what? what? Is it like a Rock Lee Naruto game where, you know, where you open the gates and you got to like, hurry up and kill him type deal? Kind of. But it's well, not. I also remember it was kind of like that with Vegeta in the DBZ game where he had that um, explosive move where he killed himself. Pretty much. Yeah, but I don't know. It was just dumb. Cause it's not gonna like, yeah. In in like in that game, right. you 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 die like a couple times. Like it's like you had to kill somebody a bunch of times. Like not just once. And it's it's weird. It's not one on one. It's like two on two, and you're you're fighting your opponent and a computer. And you have a computer on your side too. So it's like two on. Two. Yeah, it's weird. But anyway, that that was pretty fun just to like play it all the anime characters. And I played. Uh, couple seconds of Twilight Princess HD to see what it looked like and honestly it didn't look too special to me but it could be like you know that's a nostalgia thing like how I think about that game is different than yeah, how it actually was. Say, cause that's why because that's the same way as a lot of old games that when you see it in HD your brain already saw it looking like that yeah yeah dude this is a crazy week though we got the NCAA tournament we got um the final round this weekend, which is like that big, it's going to be the first uh, Street Fighter uh, Capcom Pro Tour tournament. So, like, the big one. And you're going to have a bunch of different games there, you know. Like, I going to have, like, the new MKX characters there and all that. And then we got uh, Daredevil coming out this weekend. <laughs> Daredevil Season 2. We got uh, the Pokken uh, coming out Friday and the Pokken tournament uh, stream thing on Thursday. It's going to be a crazy week. Yeah, even more important, we got my birthday. Yo, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> today. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, but yeah, 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 I'm definitely yeah, watching yeah, final yeah, round. Yeah, what is that, the final round? Uh, Friday to Sunday. You know, most, most of, like, Fridays is, like, exhibition stuff. Sunday, I mean, Saturdays usually when they get into like the pools and stuff. And then Sunday will be the top eight, so. Yeah, I guess I'll watch it. Dude, I hope Pokemon, well, I guess Pokemon, I don't know if it can be there or not. It might yeah, be close. I was close. Gonna say, it's kind of scrubby to put a day one tournament out there. Unless a lot of people play the Japanese version, but still, it's kind of scrubby. Yeah, it might be at the next big tournament out of this one, because you know it is going to be at Evo, but anyway. Anyway, I guess we should get into some, what have you been, you know, watching as far as anime or what you've been reading? You've been watching or reading anything other than One Piece? Well, well, I actually haven't. I mean, I was going to read Kingdom, but I also, behind on my media and stuff, I literally just read One Piece. Yeah. I still am like, I read like half the last chapter of Kingdom. I was about to read this one. But yeah, the series is good. Um... Yeah, One Piece is good. <laughs> um, there hasn't been anything else I've been on, because I don't want to watch the... I don't want to read the manga of One Punch Man. Um, yeah. Well... And, yeah. I haven't been too much either. I only really, um... I, I've been watching Lil Yu Yu Hakusho because of that J-Stars game. kind of got me like, I want to watch that again. So I've been watching a little bit of that again. And then I just watched the first episode of 
Your Lie in April, which my little brother told me to watch. It's like a romance anime, rom-com kind of thing. But I figured it'd be good, like, for the wifey and all that stuff. But I mean, but it might, it might. finish Kingdom because you're literally on an epic arc. But it, but it, it is actually kind of interesting uh, so far, so. Oh, no, dude, how did you finish 20th Century Boys and not finish Kingdom? Dude, I, dude. I, I don't get it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to finish, um. Dude, 20th Century Kingdom. Boys, like I said, I want to continue, but man, where I dropped off? I have no motivation to continue. Well, that's the thing. I feel like if I stopped, then I wouldn't come back because it, and plus I forget, like, everything. So I, I, mean, I still have a good idea of what was happening, but it was like, nah, I don't care. Yo, but the big news for today, Hunter x Hunter, the guy got off his butt and he's going to start drawing the manga I again. I the devil is a liar. <laughs> dude, he's not, dude. He's, dude, he's literally a deadbeat alcoholic dad, man. Dude. And like, I feel bad for everybody that keeps saying that, you know, oh, he's coming back. Like, dude, he's not coming back. Well, I mean, they said, like, it's going to be a special in the new, like, the next week of Shonen Jump about him or something. Dude, he's not coming back. Dude, he's, but he dude, said he's he is. so lazy, man. Dude, he's so lazy. Like, You're I saying, know he probably has some things going on, but, dude, he's not going to. You're saying he's like that dad that says he'll come back. He can't. He comes back for a little while and then leaves again. Yeah, dude, that's him. Like that's what he's gonna do. It's like you know, new old, you know. Oh, I never let him back, and then he comes back and he's like, "Hey there, you know, I just dropped by with these gifts. You know, I got you, you know, those Hot Wheels you really wanted, and I got you, uh, you know, an amiibo and all that. You know, oh yeah, welcome back. Oh, man. And then, you know, later you find a gun because he needed some money for alcohol. Look, my gun. boy finished Yu Yu Hakusho, so I gotta give him props, but... Yeah, you Dude, can... that was like a completely different life, okay? But yeah, you can fin- you can, uh, hurry up and finish Hunter X Hunter, please. Yeah, like, dude, it, like... Dude, like, that's the thing about Hunter X Hunter, that... That, it's like, I don't even know what to think about it, because... I feel like we're still in the beginning stages of that story. <sighs> Yeah, what you what 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 do you think of that so far? Like it's like it's like it's tough because the longer you sit on that story, the more you realize that you're still you know, you <laughs> haven't hit the grand line yet, you almost feel like. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean Maybe. at least where the anime stopped. You know, I don't know where the manga is now. Right, right. At least where the anime stopped. You still feel like <laughs> Oh man. You're just trying to get to the grand line because you know, uh you know, you, you we haven't even gotten back, at least where we were at in the anime to um what was it? Oh, the what was it named? Uh, the spider trope, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, ain't gotten back to them. And cheap. the thing that I didn't like about the whole Kimura Ant arc was that you knew that they were like not filler villains, but they weren't like top tier end all villains because you knew that their stuff was extremely gimmicky. Like to me, they seemed a little bit like. Uh, what do you call it? Sky Island, where they had a, they had an automatic buff, where it was because they were Sky Island people, you know, they had the buff of being on their home turf, similar to like the the arc that never existed, which is the Fishman arc. But you know, it was like <laughs> they had an piece, automatic yeah. buff because they're in the water, whereas they had an automatic buff because they're in the sky. But you know, that was done much better. But you knew that they weren't going to be the best just because they weren't. This is a show about pirates. And they're not pirates. And it's the same way I felt about the Kimura Ant arc. Yeah. There's an arc about hunters, and they're not hunters. They're just got an unofficial buff because their mother ate humans, which technically make them stronger because if she ate a human, they would automatically be stronger than a human. So, like, dude, that's like the most gimmicky thing of all. That's like well, the most technicality thing. Really? Of all time. It's confusing where this thing is going to go because, well, I mean, these some of these questions may already be answered by the next arc in the manga, but, um, but you know, uh, Gon's dad showed up, like, he just showed up, yeah. and like, you know, like, that was such a lame way to do it. Yeah, I, really, I feel like that was a way to do it because the series had gone on for so long we never saw him, so you had to put him in there just for the sake of video games, merchandising. Yeah. 
And you know, for example, you got to give them move a move set for those video games that are come out where you know you want them to have a move set to be like, oh no, this is canon. We didn't invent this. And I feel like it's Naruto where you know Naruto just got the Rasengan. Like he just got his first move. Like dude, you need some more moves. Like yeah, Don needs some more that's moves. That's what I you feel know? too. Is that you know it's like super early because you know and that you know because that mode he went in the Nightmare Luffy mode. It's like man. That was too gimmicky. Like, oh, where he was like super gone in the future or whatever. Yeah, like that. Like that. Bro- it was that because he made the Chimera, the Chimera ants like too strong. Yeah. And he had to like pull that out, and so it was kind of a spoiler in the fact that like Gone will never be that strong again, or like he'll like only be that strong like in the far future. So it's kind of like you already spoiled what's gonna happen, but kind of. Hello? Every born did the same thing. Like, yeah. when you go to the future, and that's the problem you have with going to the future if it's not your last arc, where he went to the future, and his future self was a beast, but couldn't beat the bad guy. You're talking about Hitman so, Reborn? Yeah, and so he comes in and gets, like, a buff or whatever, where he's able to beat the bad guy. Well, dude, that messed everything up because... You know, like, his future self was supposed to be such a beast, and you got all these moves. And then you beat the bad guy, and you didn't have all that. It's like, uh, hello? Yeah. You know, and it's the same thing in this, where it's like, well, you know, his future self beat up on that cat, but he didn't, like, body him in one hit. Yeah. So, technically, we know that any villain that comes after is going to be, like, a thousand times stronger than that cat. Sure, so yeah. Technically, you know, because that's just the way the anime works. So, technically, you know, Gon shouldn't even be able to touch anybody, any bad guy or villain that comes afterwards. Yeah. Which we know is obviously not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, you know, they have been, I mean, the Chimera Art Ant Art for all its plot holes and, like, you know, things like that, it still was pretty alright, you know. Dude, the problem was, like I've said before, was that the art initially was great. Everything about it was great, but you could clearly tell when the hiatus happened was because there was just a ton of characters just were like, well, it was like, I don't really know what I was doing with these guys. I'll be dead. Right. And, you know, like with that lion, you know, you know, oh, him and God, him and him and Yeah, he, uh, yeah, like something big was going to happen with him and it never yeah, happened. Yeah, and then he just kind of forgot, we're like, nope, he's dead. Yeah. And then with that wolf, he, you know, had a lot, bunch of stuff going on. He's like, yeah, I didn't really know what I want to do with him, so I'm going to turn him into, like, an old maid. And then he's yeah. just going to, yeah, just, he's going to rot. And then that beetle, what happened to the beetle? Did he become good? I can't remember. I think so. Yeah, you know, it was like he remember. had a bunch to do with those guys, and then, mm-hmm. um, like, he had no way to kill that one butterfly, I guess. Yeah. So he just nerfed him. I don't even know how to defeat this guy. I'm just going to nerf him and spread him into like a billion pieces. <laughs> and it was the same thing with um the other, the pink guy. How did that guy even get beat? Remember, both those guys like gave all their power to the king to yeah, come back. So what happened back. with the his, with um not his but uh, the, 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 the um, Killua fight? I remember Killua was fighting him, but did that guy just leave? I can't remember. Yeah, I think he just left. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, he made them too powerful. Like, dude, nobody can beat these guys. So I'm just gonna, like, make them win off of technicality and, like, them, like, get rid of, like, 99.9999% of their power, even though they're still gonna be tough to deal with. And then he's like, okay, well, if I gave all their power to the king, then technically the king can just bop everybody. So, yeah, he's gonna die because of sickness. Yeah, because of sickness. Yeah, because... I don't know, that was just strange, but obviously, I think the strongest, I think the strongest arc was that auction arc with the spider troop and all them. I yeah, think that's that been was the strongest definitely one. the strongest arc because, oh, that's another thing I was going to say with the series, is that, who were the main characters of that series? <laughs> what? I mean, who? Who are they? Yeah, at the beginning. Is it just gone and kill one? Like, yeah. You know, yeah, because what's his name that we haven't even seen with the chains of her? Yeah. Kurpika, Kur- and then yeah. Leorio just came back in the election part or whatever. 
Yeah, and the problem that it has is the same problem that Naruto had. You had all these characters that everybody liked in part one, and you're just like, well, I don't got room for them part two. Yeah. You, know, you just, and so it it's kind the of, same problem this had. It became the uh, Gone and Kill of a show, just like it became the Naruto and Sasuke show. Yeah, where it was like, you know, you could tell that if it was just an arc or just a little bit that it was the two, it, it would be cool. Because, you know, when they went to the auction arc, I was like, okay. Not the auction arc, but on that little tournament where they were there. Uh, yeah, forever. where they were leveling up and all. Yeah, I was like, okay, well, this is going to be an arc where it's, you know, them two, you know, doing the buddy cop routine and getting to know each other, getting to know you. <laughs> oh, yeah, <but. laughs> you know, doing the buddy cop routine. And then, you know, I mean, it's going to go back to, you know, getting normalized. But, no, nah, it didn't happen. It was yeah. like, well, you know, the gang's all here, so let's just do it. We're off the gang's to all here. To the next. Hello? You were saying hello? Dude, hello? You there? Yeah. You were singing and then you just faded off. I guess you're like off the road and then you're like, yep, well, I'll yeah, see you later. Yeah, I was like, I was like, we're off to the road to the community park where they just have the twos and buddies. And I said, yep, I apologize for all these old movie references. But yeah, we'll be there tomorrow. So I gotta, we gotta flex the age muscle. You gotta get hype, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, but the characters themselves are pretty cool, though, you know. Like, I mean, Gon's pretty cool, Killer's pretty cool, Kurapika's pretty cool, Luorio is questionable, but. Well, I thought Luorio was a cool character, too, but I mean, man, the problem is that we just don't see enough of them. Like, you know, they have their moments, but for every moment you tell me about that character, I could probably give you more moments from a, a bleep side character and man that's saying a lot well other than going and kill you're talking yeah, about the other well, characters yeah yeah that's what i mean you know, yeah 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 like, you know, kirby and leorio yeah yeah and if i can give you more info about a bleach like side character then man that's saying a lot <laughs> oh man yeah i feel like they need to head back to spider trip which i think one of my brother said they were doing that with these newer arcs here or this next arc but and the problem i have with that is it doesn't seem like there's really an end game in sight you know there's no care you know it's like what i said with uh what do you call it 20th century boys where it's like with manga and anime etc you gotta give you gotta put that care on a stick you know you gotta make me wonder what's gonna happen yeah you know, where's this gonna go are they gonna reach the goal like, as annoying as Naruto became at the end with, you know, the Tokyo Ghoul, it was still that care on the stick where I still wanted to see, you know. Yeah. It was like, even though I was annoyed, I still was like, you know, had to read it. And I was a slave to that manga where I had to, like, literally yeah. read it. And it was the same problem I had with Bleach where, you know, the point is now, I'm like, man, there's no care on the stick that I care about. Right, like, I mean, clear, clearly in Naruto, it's like, he's gotta become Hokage. Clearly in, um, One Piece, gotta be the Pirate King. You know, like, I mean, it's those type of, I mean, in One Piece, there's a lot of different goals. In, Nar in Naruto, also, he had to fight Sasuke. You know, there's, like, some of the things that just had to happen. Yeah. That you're waiting on that to happen, but. Yeah, you just wanted to see how it played out, and then you wanted to see the end game, and, like, with yeah. Naruto, really wanted to see the epilogue and all that. Yeah, like we said, Gon's dad already kind of showed up, so we're like, is he looking for his dad? Is he, what, what is he doing? Is he trying to become as good as his dad, I guess? But they haven't really kind of mm -hmm. shown that as much. But Yeah, to, to me, it was more of the shanks Luffy relationship, where it's like, you know, the end-all, be-all is for Luffy to find Shanks again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm wondering, okay, I'm not reading the manga. The manga is crap, okay? The drawings are crap. I'm sorry. I mean, like, the character, I, you know, obviously the anime gets it from somewhere, but, you know, he just, his laziness shows in his art. And um, I'm waiting for that anime, that Madhouse produced anime that was epic. I got everybody on the Hunter x Hunter train, because I think it boomed in popularity after that anime came out. And, oh, no question. and I think it's so popular now that if he completes another arc, then at least that arc will come out in the anime, I believe. Because I think there's, they'd be dumb not to do it because it's so popular. 
Yeah, I think they're going to do that, but I was going to say, also I feel like Attack on Titan still has kind of the same problem for me, where there's no care on the stick for me with Attack on Titan. You know? And, and isn't, isn't he taking his sweet time making chapters too? Well, not really, because it's monthly, so... Oh, okay. Well, kind of, but not really. He's making... Uh, he has a schedule, at least. But, dude, month, dude, everybody else works like a slave, working like, you know, <laughs> every week making chapters. And these guys, they're like, oh, well, I'm mean, making... This yeah. is good, because, you know, he has super long chapters because of that, though. Yeah. I mean, I, mean yeah. I guess it's good, you know, if he can't do it, then don't force yourself to do it. You know, like, the bleeps could benefit from that. Oh, I'd certainly rather him, the 100 x 100 guy, do monthly, at least, if that, if you know, if, he, yeah, if that would like, help him. You know, it's like, know your, know your role, know your limit, you know, if you can't do it, then don't do it. Like, Blue Exorcist does that, I believe. Yeah, and Full Metal Alchemist did that. It did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but, I mean, before Metal Alchemist just showed that. Yeah. But let's get into the One Piece chapter, and you'll have to remind me of some things because <laughs> you read it more recently than even I did. So, One Piece, um, I, I thought guess. there's, I thought there's two big things in this, um, chapter that were revealed. We could talk about yeah, the rest of it. Was that ninja dude and the dog. <laughs> no, I thought it was like the alliance being confirmed, of like all of the alliance. That was obviously a big point. And the second point was it all but basically confirmed that they were going after Sanji first. Yeah, but. How much longer are we going to be on this island? That's true, because Jack is coming. Yeah, what's up, Jack coming I back? forgot about that, see? Jack yeah, is... Yeah, because, you know, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, okay, this is confirmed. But then at the end, Jack was coming there, so I was like, so dude, where does that take us now? Like, but Jack is said he's not coming on the island. He's going to kill the elephant that they're living yeah. on. So he that... Said he, did, he said... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he said he literally didn't want the elephant in the room or something. What? He said he didn't <laughs> want the elephant. <laughs> Stupid. I was like, what do you say? No, you dumb. Uh, yeah, but I'm wondering if that will make, if that is a Oda plot for him to get them to come off the elephant and get on the stinking ship and fight Jack and then leave. Oh, no. you know, I was thinking the same thing, but I mean, could he destroy the Ming's home? I mean, technically they could live on Wano Island with them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the rock is still there unless they took it. So you think so there's a chance they might let the elephant die? Well, we know in One Piece they don't kill him, so you could say injured. But, you know, injured to the point of where, you know, he couldn't move on and have our son or something. I oh, don't know. I think their squad's too strong with right now with all the people they got. But who was that guy that was on Jack's squad that was hurt? Sheep's head? Yeah. Yeah. Who was he? I can't remember. Was he the guy that was initially terrorizing them? Well, he was like, he's like under Jack. Or did he get beat by Sanji? He might have got beat by, yeah, he got beat by Sanji. Because I think what happened was Jack and all of them went to the island went crazy went ham right and then like remember uh the flamingo got wiped out so jack was like all right i'm about to leave um and take care of like getting the flamingo back so y'all you know kind of keep searching for this ninja or whatever and then that's when sanji popped in and kicked some butt and like all them you know so chased him away basically so i think he was mad at him for like losing you know like for losing that fight and like not finding the ninja there yeah, well, I was thinking, well, this would be a stretch. Okay, here's, okay, I'm thinking two things. Does that mean we're going to be on this island forever? Because I feel like this course is had to do, and I feel like they should wait on that villain, you know? I don't feel like they should flex the jack muscle yet. And I feel like there's still something to do there. Or are we going to get Luffy leaving? Well, I guess mm. not, because he's going to attack it. I was going to say if Luffy left, and then he gave someone for Zoro to fight while, while that's going on. You know what you know. I think is gonna happen? Huh. They were talking about uh, the show. They had to kill the Shogun of Wano. Like that was one of the things that like they had to do. 
and they had to kill Kaido, obviously. I think that the Shogun is of, of Wano is going to be like a super, you know, like beast of a swordsman, and that's who uh, Zoro is going to have to fight. Like that's going to be his next big guy to fight. Well, maybe he'll fight somebody at Big Mom's place, but he's going to have to fight the Shogun, and then Luffy's going to have to fight Kaido. I think Wait, that's... who's the Shogun of Wano? Though? He's like the leader of Wano. It would be that guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's a bad guy, but there's not really too many people to compare him. There's not really anybody compared to because we haven't really run into something yeah, like that. Yeah, I know he was the guy that was opposed to uh, Momo's dad, right? Yeah, he helped kill him or whatever. Okay, yeah, I just couldn't remember. But yeah, I was going to say that what's going to happen? So it seems like we're not going to fight people. Because the way that Luffy made it seem is that they're not going to fight. If anything, just make him more mad. Now there Kaido is the present villain. No, because remember he said we got to get Sanji back because he'll be a beast on, like he's like, a, the, his strength is like that of a thousand men, you know, like if we go get him, he'll basically help us beat Kaido too. Oh, and that like, must we got a mistranslation on our part. Did we say that? There's something about the strength of a thousand Martha Stewart? Or? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, no, yeah, you, but, Remember, because they're like, we got to kill kind of these. Like, all right, well, now that we got this alliance, here's what I need y'all to do. We need to go get Sanji. <laughs> like, yeah, but I was, yeah, but I was saying, oh, man, I, was, I forgot what I was about to say, but I was gonna, yeah, but he made it implied that, that he wasn't going to fight Big Mom. He was like, yeah, I won't fight her. I'll get Sanji and get out type deal. Who said that? Luffy said that. What? Yeah, that's what he said, because they're like, you're like, you're crazy, Rip. You know, he's like, no, nah, I won't even fight her. I'll just I don't remember that. Right, you're gonna have to check. Check the car facts, man. <laughs> check, check the car facts. <laughs> I hate car facts, dude. <laughs> dude. What does that even mean? Yo, nah, I'm about to check that Kelly Blue Book. Yep. What you know about that, that Blue Book? I don't know nothing about that Blue Book. It's the same kind of thing, basically. <laughs> No, I'll trust the furry. What'd you say? I said, no, I'll trust the furry. Trust the furry. He was in the commercials all the way. Technically, he's an animal. Animal humanoid. Yeah. No. <laughs> Stupid. Yep, he's like he's like a star fox. Star fox. We, we need your help, yep. star fox. <laughs> I knew he was about to say that. <laughs> So I'm looking, I'm looking at this. Okay. Oh man. Dude, remember? Okay, here's how it says. Okay. We're about to have a little read through here. He said, then I asked for, okay. Whatever, they're all talking, you know. And then I asked for your help in the battle to strike down the Shogun of Wano and, and Kaido and Perosi. And then Usopp's like, wow, yeah. Now that's, this is more like it. The samurai and minx, that's a lot of power to have on our side. And Livy says, no. And he said, don't turn them down. And he's like, what's wrong with you? Are you insane? Hang on. Don't count no, that. It's, it's okay. going to be all after that because that keep was going, the after going. promo deal, right? Pop, pop, pop. And then they keep going. Right, right, right. And then all the way. No, it was after the Momo crime type deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then he says... Okay, here are the conditions right now that we're in line, there are conditions, and then they're like, oh, that sh you should have mentioned that before, whatever. He said, we're mentioning one of them, okay. Talks about Sanji. What about Big Mom? Yeah. He said, I'm going to bring him back, so hold off on fighting until then. The good news is that Sanji's real tough. Having him on board will be, it's like having the strength of a thousand. He said, okay, I see that's good here, but are you sure this is Big Mom of the Four Emperors? Yep, you're right. No, wait, wait, okay, this is how he said it. He said, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm not going to fight her. I'm taking Lion Viper. So I guess he means Peckhams. So maybe yeah. he's saying that Peckhams will 
kind of like work his magic and, and help him out. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So it doesn't sound like she's going to be fought right now. So the question is, though. So, so yeah, that was good, a good catch there. So, but so the to, to me, what I got from that is that this is still kind of dark. Dude, but I think what it is is, like, when we go there, okay, first of all, we got Capone that's upset. That, I mean, that's not going to be cool with Peckham's. So things could go crazy there. Then we got that present that's a bomb that Luffy gave her. That could make things go crazy. But then we got the Vince Smoke family who are obviously one time to go there. So they could be enemies too. So I think there's still all types of ways this could go. No, I think... Okay, here's what I'm thinking is the best option. I'm thinking this is the build-up for the next arc. So it's similar to when... We met Bellamere and then we met Doflamingo. That, you know, we didn't even see that till later. Because you think about it, we could get Luffy going there, wrecking some havoc, a la, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, dude, dude, Water 7. Where he just goes ham, kind of, runs around, they get Sanji, they kind of run from people, like, have a little thing, but they leave because they don't fight a lot of the people there. Because, you know, the whole crew isn't there, at least I'm guessing. And then, you know, he fights Kaido, and then he fights next arc where she has an even bigger grudge or something. Mm. Well, I'm just saying that's a theory, because I don't, I'm thinking, because, you know, because that's the only way it can be, because you can't fit that whole arc versus Yonko in, you know, because then we're not seeing the other characters for three, four years. You know, we're not seeing Usopp, uh, Zoro, etc. for three, four years. You don't think they're going to go with him? Well, I'm just saying... This is the theory that they don't all go there. They might all go. Yeah, I mean, they might go now, depending on what Jack does to the island. I'm yeah. saying, if Luffy goes, because it seems like Luffy wants to go do the buddy cop thing with Sanji and Peckham's, then, you know, then we wouldn't, uh, you know, then we wouldn't see the other characters. So as long as we could make that article be a year. You know, because you can't oh, make no. it a three, four year arc, which is fighting a Yonko. And you don't just fight a Yonko, as we've seen. You don't just fight an empire. You don't just fight anybody. Yeah. For, you know, you got to fight the army. You got to fight the village. You got to fight the crew. You got to fight the Coliseum. You got to fight the underground Coliseum. You, know, you got to do all that, which is like three, four years. Yeah, I mean, I know that em both the emperors, or all the emperors that I left, will be long, but. If we're going to her freaking island, you don't think that we're gonna? But I mean, what? But I mean, you can't do that because you got the problem right now, which is, you know, Kaido. Uh, you know, because I know it wouldn't be three, four years of their time, but dude, you know. Well, I don't know. I just still think they're gonna fight. I think they're gonna fight uh, Big Mom first. I'm sticking with that theory. That's just my gut feeling here. I mean, I don't know. So you're saying that he's the main attraction versus her, and or I'm saying that she's the main attraction for versus him. Well, Cause we've had. I feel like we've had more built up. I'm not I sure no idea. because we had more built up longer. Although technically, I, I guess you could like... say there's more stakes with uh, with um, with Kaido. But I feel like we've built up more. Well, it's tough to say now. Think about it because you could argue that the Doflamingo stuff was built up with Kaido too. So I guess it's tougher to see who we have the bigger beef with right now. Yeah, Sanji versus like all of the many friends. Yeah, and the bombs. I mean, the bomb he sent, and, yeah, and then you also got the whole village thing, and, and then we got the, you know, pretty much the typical One Piece formula of someone but wrecking dude, havoc on a kingdom. So now that we've got all this freaking set up, do you think, like, pretty much the next two, like, big arcs of taking down two emperors, or Yonko, or whatever you want to call them, do you think that's pretty much going to be straightforward? Like, we don't even need any more build-up, do we? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, we got a lot of the build-up out of the way, like, because we already got beef with both of them, like we said, so. 
Well, he said the manga is like halfway over, but we don't know if that's how, you know, people might read into that as in, oh, we had X amount of years, so we have X amount of years left, but that could just mean X amount of plots, so we're halfway through X amount of plots, or halfway through the grand line. I'd say we're over halfway now, because halfway was kind of red line, you know? Yeah, but... You know, you never know what that means. Does it mean travel distance wise? Because travel distance wise, we have but I thought one time. of the editors said we were like 75% or something like that. Yeah, but we haven't really gone anywhere on the red line, have we? Compared to where we were on the grand line. Um, you know, because like half, what does halfway mean? Does it mean halfway through the story, halfway through the red line? Even halfway through the story, that's still pretty long. Yeah, the One Piece manga editor said it was 70% completed. Yeah, but who even knows what that means? And that was in July. No, that's a lie. That was in July. Um... I don't think it's, I mean, 70%, they still got a big chunk left, you know, because of how far it's, how many volumes are already out. All I know is that in Naruto, they said we were almost over, and that was at the beginning of the Naruto big war, which technically was true, but... Okay, this is what he said, uh, direct, here's the quote here, just so you know. He, uh, he told me that the first part of the story... The part prior to the time skip was around halfway through. That was about 60 volumes, so maybe we're at 70%? Yeah, that's obviously a lie. I don't think it's 80% yet. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's obviously a lie. So, I don't know. But, you said it was 70% way. The lie detector determined that was a lie. So, we'll see, dude. We still got, I mean, we'll definitely have gray hair before it's ever, but, Yeah, yeah I, was, I was definitely going to say that now. There's no way that was close. I already just don't see it. I think it's one yeah. of those things that you could say we're close, but then he, I feel like the Dress of Rosa arc wasn't supposed to be that long. I just felt like he had a lot he wanted to put in there, you know? It's like when I build a Mario Maker level, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a small level. This is going to have this, this, this. And then as I'm building, I say, well, this could also go here. You know, this is level is that being a lot bigger and harder than that. Would be. Okay, no pause, but... Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I feel like it's like that, where he might have thought, but then he realized that if you do, if you make... I have been saying, if Dopamingo takes four years, and he's not an emperor, then Dopey. people are always going to, like, you know... I thought yeah. it only took two years. Bruh. I thought it was two years. I'm pretty sure. Bruh. Pretty sure. Bruh. What? No. <laughs> dude, oh, you gotta look that up, dude. There's no way I want to. Oh, my goodness. I'll look it up, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. How long did the dress rest our glass? Oh my goodness. And technically it's tough because there were some stoppage times, but, you know. I feel like there was times where, like, either he had a month off or etc. Okay, yep. It was from 2013 to 2015. Bruh. <laughs> like, dude, that arc was long, dude. What do you mean by I mean, that's still, su that's still super long, dude. I mean, that's a chapter every freaking week for two years. I mean, but it was long. Arc. He had like months off, bro. I mean, he had some parts out, but it was still super long. How many chapters did? Or, well, it's, okay. It was 102 chapters. How many chapters do we have in the manga? Um, 800, what, 800? 800, just over 800, yeah. So it's like an eighth of the, it's like an eighth of the, eighth of the series. Dude, that, that art, man. <laughs> That arc, dude, you gotta look at when Sanji and then left. Um, I feel like, dude, I feel like that arc went on like 10 years after it. Oh, well, I feel like if I look into that, then we're going to a rabbit hole of questions. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I mean, I'm just saying that, man, that arc was. Boring. Oh, yeah, we know. But we're on, on to bigger and brighter things. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, so what did you think of that chapter overall, this fast one? Pretty good still? Still going yeah, good pace? Yeah, story. Um, I thought they rehashed the whole dog and cat thing. I thought they already made it. Like, Maybe go. they're still going to do a flashback kind of about their, their story. Oh, I mean, it might be cool. You never know, like a, young, a younger version of them. <laughs> like I said, I don't care about old characters. Well, I love old characters, so that would be awesome. But it would be them as they're young, you know, or something. Anyway. Yeah, but I didn't care. Like, um, I never actually watched that, um, what was it called? Man. Um, what's his name again? Which one? Um, Norland the Liar. Yeah. I never watched that flashback. Are you serious? Dude, I skipped it. That's like a huge part of, like, Usopp in general. Nah, man, I skipped it. Dude, you crazy. Yeah, what even happened there? I mean, I just skipped it because I just kind of got the gist. But dude, I don't care, man. I mean, it's a story. Dude, wouldn't they? Did they show that right during the interview fight or like something? Did they? I don't remember. When did they? Were they showed at a time when you like, bruh, I literally don't care. No, I don't remember when they showed the flashback, but dude, it was long. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen it myself, so. Well, it hasn't been that long, but... No, I couldn't no. even tell if it was filler, too. <laughs> but, anyways, yeah, I thought that was a good chapter. I, I'm, I'm still liking all this that's going on, so... Definitely big reveals every week, you know, several weeks in a row. It's like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, let's get into some Nintendo stuff. Nintendo. Nintendo. Yep. Right. I knew you got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you been playing? Other than Splatoon, you've been playing some Splatoon, I'm sure. You already talked about that. But. <laughs> well, well, I've been playing some Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> but I've also been playing uh, Fire Emblem, which I'm on the 24th chapter. Man. i got to say, the 23rd chapter, I don't remember. I can't remember off the top. But it was a pretty easy chapter. Well, it wasn't easy, but compared to like every other chapter in the game, it was pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, then this new chapter, it completely stole um, a setup from the first game, the GameCube game. Really? Oh yeah, it had a similar situation where you're like, well, I wish I didn't even buff the the Lord that much because. I was like, I did. I don't want to like just max them out, and then everyone else is a scrub. Right. But they're making me fight a one v one, where he's isolated, and I have absolutely no way to buff him now. Which I made my characters cook a lot of meals and all that stuff. Yeah, like, got him cooking. Buff Cook. Them. You know, for steroids, artificially buff him. Yep. Yeah. But um, yeah. But so, but everyone else has to like try to help him. Like, there's 425 turns or whatever, and let me say, the enemies in this chapter are really, really, really dumb. Now, they have oh, a yeah. longbow. This is, like, the first time I've seen the longbow even in this game. Well, it's technically not the longbow. It's the long shuriken or whatever it's called, like, the spy shuriken. It's mm -hmm. pretty much a longbow. And I can't even get near because, yeah, it <laughs> also has that switch place properties or whatever. Oh, yeah. Which is so stupid. Oh, yeah. Which I think what I'm going to do to counter that, I'm going to have to get a rescue. And the second he does it, I'm going to rescue him and just kill that ninja. Yo, my ninja that uh, threw it. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, look at me. I'm like already strategizing, but yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. I've been, uh, of course, I played all those games I was talking about earlier, but Earthbound, I played a little bit of. I got to that crazy mole maze. But that, was, yeah. that was insane. But, yeah, those moles are awesome. Yeah, <laughs> the, I mean, power third. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I was dying. Dude, yeah, me, me like, too. No, I'm the third one. Like, you got pretty far. I'm not first or second. Um, not even fourth, but I'm third. Dude, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. That game is so dumb, but so hilarious. But so freaking long. But like, dude, good gracious, that game is long. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. You got, you'll go to this one place. Where you'll literally wonder around, like, dude, where am I supposed to go? And you'll look online just to, like, figure out. Because a lot of it is, like, you gotta speak. You know, there's, like, a billion characters in the game. Yeah. And a lot of them might just say, 
Oops, I farted. You know, and that'd be the only yeah, thing. Oh, yeah. So you know, you'll be like, dude, I don't want to talk to any of y'all scrubs. You know, but the thing is that you know, and then like there'll be guys like there'll be a random puppy that just starts chasing you, like no, or like a crazy attack, like dude, I don't have time for this. You know? And then, are you freaking like kill one of those enemies? They're like, oh, you got a chick. The chick starts chirping everywhere you walk in. I'm like, oh my gosh, I oh, love these like, stupid got a chick. Where it like gives you two FP or something. Like, dude, I don't want this. No, like you got a cookie. Like, dude, it's trash. I don't want it. Those stupid chicks, though, okay? They, they chirp, and they chirp, and they oh, chirp. Oh, like, you haven't seen nothing yet. That one will laugh so bad. Yeah, oh, just tell, let me know when you get to the desert. You don't want to back somebody. I'm already in the desert. Oh, yeah. That was before the... Oh, I've already won With the monkeys and all that? Oh, yeah. Dude, wasn't that stupid? Oh, yeah. Just dumb. Like, dude, I don't know how you didn't rage quit, dude. I wanted to rage quit. I was stupid. <laughs> oh... That's much. stupid. Like that's what I'm talking about. That game, like you know, like did you have to look online and know what to do, know what to do, what you? Because well, what part are you talking about uh, yeah, exactly? Yeah, you had to like, go in the caves and then you had to go to this monkey and he says, "I want this." You gotta give him that. And the other monkey's like, "Oh, I want this." Maybe I haven't done that part yeah, yet. Yeah, I thought you were say, talking about different cool monkeys. <laughs> yeah, there's monkeys in the desert, but he asked you to give him something so he can dig a hole or something. And then you'll have to go in that hole. Like, let me tell you, you will hate that. Like, it is bad. Like, it's like Xenoblade type bad, where it's like, Touch why? Quest. Yeah, just like, just stupid. Like, he's like, oh, I just want this random most item in the game. Like, an item that you never pick. That's what I want. And so you gotta run somewhere to get that item. And then the other one will be like, oh, I want this item. And one will be like, oh, I want an egg, but it can't be hatched. So you gotta like, literally run that maze. Like, just know it backwards and forwards. So like, you know, it's like the speedrunner's path. If you don't, cheap, cheap, cheap. No, I want, I want an egg, not a chicken. Like, bruh. Like, are you serious? Yeah. It, it is really dumb. It is dumb. That's and then, dumb. you know, in that game, I don't know about you, but you are you, like, items, like, always maxed out for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're like, dude, what the heck should and, I carry? And because, you know, that one character, um, Jeff, or whatever, can use, like, all those broken items and stuff, like, yeah. dude, which one of these are worth keeping? That's what I want to know, because I always keep, like, all of it. I'm like, dude, this could turn into something cool, but oh, I don't that's know. that's the same problem I have. But I guess you have to rest, and then he might rant, He might decide to do it, or he might not. You know, it's like that bum you have, like, I might go to college, I might get a job, or he might not. You know, you don't know. <laughs> it's like it's, that super, it's broken item. That super genius that's just, like, so lazy, he never does anything, but you can, yeah, like, cure like, cancer if you want to. Fix it. Like, dude, like, I want to know. And one time he did it, and it was trash. It was like... You know, like literally something. Lo- we, oh, like, yeah. dude. And of course, like none of those items ever work on the boss, but you know, no. that's not the story. <laughs> well, okay, what are your strategies versus the boss? Versus any boss, like in general, like first strategy. Yeah. Well, my strategy is to hit him hard with Paula and like <laughs> all her crap, like all her like PK freeze and all that stuff. You know, you gotta hit him hard with that, and pretty much I just. Dude, I just save it right before the boss, oh, yeah. and then I, and then here's I figure what out what their thing is. I mean, no, here's what you do. What you do is you save it. Oh, let me tell you. Later on in the game, it doesn't work because it takes you through this labyrinth of the cave. The labyrinth, like literally, it looks like purple cor. You know how like the majority of the cave the game is like, you know, just a purple corridor, but there's like a lot of blackness on the outside. Mm-hmm. It just makes the music. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude. Well, you go through, there'll be like four or five doors at each time, and you go through one random one, and you're here. And you go through another one, and you're there, and you go through another one, and you're here, and there's like the toughest enemies you've fought in this game so far. I was about to say, that like, mole maze was hard enough getting back no, out of there, because no, no, I this is 10 about died. I, did. I like, I, did, I died uh, several times, but. Dude, I did a Zodic Zay, and I did a wave, and I like. I like grinded, like grinded like crazy, and I went in there and I was like, you know, everybody was just insane. And then you do all that, and then there's no way to heal, and you gotta fight a boss. Oh yeah, like, dude, are you serious? Oh well, yeah. My boss strategy is you save right before you get to him. You like just spend a ton on the FP, and then what you do is as soon as the match starts, you don't even care. You just spam it, spam it, and then you get Jeffy to spy. And as soon as he spies, you see what it was, then you go back to your load state. 
And then you just like, if he was weak to like this, you just spam it. Like, just spam all your most powerful magic like, possible. <laughs> and that's what I do. Because it's like, dude, I don't have time to fight this nonsense. Yeah, I got to see what see what he is, what the boss is up to, too. But I just kind of test stuff and see if it works. But yeah, I guess I could use spy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. I just use spy. Because I'm like, dude, because, you know, you'll like, you'll fight one guy. You'll throw a PK fire, PK flash at him. It's like, boop, bounce back. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like, yeah. Yo, oh, let why? me let me listen, dude. I had a real spiritual moment in that that mole cave. All right. What I mean by <laughs> spiritual moment is, I was I had just beaten the third mole uh, guy. You know, third strongest. Yep. I had a kappa, <laughs> kappa, kappa. But yeah, I've beaten the third or fourth. Is yeah, I think fourth because there's five of them, right? Yeah. Anyways, anyways. I I was stuck back, but then I was stuck in a deep dark corner of that maze, and I was like, dude, I can't fight the next one without getting some freaking health because all my PP was gone, PP, haha. But yeah, <laughs> my, it was all it was all gone. So all oh, I had oh, was. Oh, pause. I just gotta say, I was saying FP because that's fire power, which is pretty, pretty, more of that. Yes, I I realize that, <laughs> but um. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, so basically when you're PP pee -pee is gone. That means so you are dead. Like you are dead oh, yeah. because you can't heal yourself because all you have is like crummy half half eaten cookies and all this crap. And so I had to go. I was like, dude, can I make it through this like you know labyrinth of enemies and make it back out somehow to dawn? Like to, to back back you know from the underground to back to daylight, back to the shed. So I had to fight through these enemies and of course there's some that have freaking poison and they're gonna kill you. And like like so what I ended up doing was I would fight until I couldn't fight anymore until like one of my guys was like either like bleeding, bleeding, bleeding or like dead and then I would pray. I would think Paula I would just pray and pray and pray <laughs> to see what happened and dude let me just tell you, whatever God she prays to is not, dude, he is not a good one. Dude, he, <laughs> oh, dude, dude he is so, dude, like he is God. trash. He dude. is bottom tier oh. because, dude, no, she, no, no, no. Sometimes there's a gold, no. Once in every million tries, you get a golden light and it, like, revives your character or something like that. Did but you use that thing, <laughs> dude? I never touched it. One dude, it was like, like no, I, I kept dying so many times. I was like, dude, what else can I do? I was like, dude, I've never tried this pray button, but I'm going to try it. And I clicked it. I, I clicked that pray button. Let me click the pray button. All right. <laughs> yeah, but, dude. So I prayed my way out of that, of that thing. After a billion tries, I made it out. Yeah, I got healed, and now I can beat it, but... Actually, I think I might have done that in the one that I told you about that was crazy. I think I did the same thing, where I just, like, you know, stayed and just kept doing that over and over. You know, that game is funny, but at that time, I wanted to smack that humor, like, right out of it. Like, I wanted to smack that randomness and that humor, just, like, I want to throw it in the trash. I wanted to kick that game, because they were trying to troll. Dude, they're always trying to troll. Like, that creator just wants to troll the whole game. He wants to troll... Yeah, I Dude. mean, now you're seeing what I was talking about before when you asked me about the game. I was like, the Prey mechanic is so random. Moment, but, yeah, like, you know, the parts that are bad are just bad. Like, that that maze, like, dude. Oh, my like, goodness. Like, dude, that was not, dude, there's, like, more of them. That's what I'm trying to can we talk like, about? Dude, it's not fun. Like, dude, there's just blackness everywhere. Or maybe purple. And this is music. <laughs> <laughs> can we like, talk dude, about <laughs> what is this <laughs> can we talk about how the characters when they level up it's not even like a regular RPG it's like freaking random it's like okay you got one for this one for that one for this and you got oh you got you got like 200 extra stats for this yay yay or something like that like dude so you're telling me that there's not even a consistent way to level up in this game like it's just like random so you um, may does it do it different if, if you saved it and, and then you leveled up, do you, does it randomize you get something better? Because I can't remember if I I'm, ever... I'm sure it does. Save, like, I didn't never try and do it. I'll end up doing. Huh? I never tried it. Yeah, because one thing I'll do is I'll, like... That's why I know the reason it took me so long, because I'll, like, save before, like, every fight just about. Because I'm, like... Dude, because all it takes is for one guy 
to like you know just bind your whole team for ten hours or something. Oh yeah. You know, because you don't have two save slots. So if there's two save slots, I wouldn't be saving. But I'm just like, dude, this could be the guy that just like binds my team for oh yeah for you know 50 turns and can't do anything, can't fast forward it like he can in an emulator or anything. I'm like, dude. Dude, how did people beat this on the freaking Super Nintendo? You can only save at the like at the call stations at the like like freaking. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Okay, I was I like, like, how did people? No, I was beat talking about Donkey Kong Country too. That was fun. Whereas, dude, this game is just super, super old, and just super, super unforgiving. And, like a lot of it is like not tough. I feel like for the sake of toughness, it's just tough because it's cheap <laughs> and because it's old. <laughs> Like, you know, and the people say, oh, oh man, game, dude, trust me, it's like Chrono Trigger. That is, what, that is a good RPG. Yeah, I need to play that. Yeah, dude, that game is a thousand times better than uh, Earthbound, in my opinion. Yeah, Super I mean, Mario, a thousand years old is better than that, so. Oh, man. Well, all those games are on, are on the list. But, um, a couple of news things here. Splatoon Splatfest is um dragon quest for japan i was wrong you were right it was dragon quest for japan um i was gonna say there's no way it was although years. it may it would make sense because it's coming out some but anyways um the 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 splatoon splat fest for this you know upcoming one is do you want to build a snowman or maybe a sand castle i was gonna say definitely any female is gonna pick uh snowman option Oh yeah, cause of Frozen. Yeah. All right, everybody's around. Oh. Um, which one do you think is gonna it's be the more popular? On. I would say. Dude, I'm going to say in Castle. I don't know which one. I I feel like that's tough because I feel like, I feel like if it wasn't for Frozen, maybe Sand Castle would. And if it wasn't for. The oh fact no, that I was saying I'm picking Sand Castle myself. Like that's. No, I'm, I'm just picking. saying which one do you think is gonna be more popular? Because I'm going mm. Snowman. And this is the reason why, because the girl on the left, like, always wins, just about, like, all well face. Yeah, like, I think it's not me, man. Wins. Like, I think she's only, lost, well, I don't know about the Japanese version, but I think she's only lost once, like, the whole time. But yeah, Snowman would be the more popular one, probably. Out of, like, ten, dude, that's not, like, ten flat fast, she's only lost, like, once. But... For, uh, for real, for real, I'm just picking uh, Sandcastle because I like the warmth. I don't like the cold. I'm not a cold man. I mean, well, mine, I've never really been to the beach like that as a kid, whereas I definitely had those memories playing a snowman as a kid, so I gotta go snowman. Oh, okay. Well, I've been living here in NC next to the coast all my life, so, I mean, not next to it, but, you know, like, not too yeah. far. So we've gone to the beach many times. I mean, I'm not. I don't even like the beach, really. Because it's sand, you get sand all your areas and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I like the beach if I'm in a beach house. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I don't. I don't know. But I still like the summer weather. In summer. All right, enough with the frozen songs. <laughs> Stop me now, please. Yep. Anyways, you were saying something about a Star Fox casual mode that came up that was announced. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If, let, let me just put it this way: if any of my friends wanted to do that, I'd be like, "Can't let you do that, Star Fox." So it's like a mode where you can't yeah, get hit or something. It's called casual. Well, it's not called casual, but that's what it is. It's filthy casual mode where you can't even get hurt. So. I'm like, dude, are kids really that mind? Dude, how many? Switch or yeah. that they can't even play through that game. Like, you know, we had to do for Star Fox 64. Dude, but they might be because look at the trend. I mean, it happened in Fire Emblem. It's in, wait, it happened in Fire Emblem Casual Mode first and then Phoenix Mode. And look at Yoshi's Woolly World. If that game wasn't easy enough, they added that stupid mode where you can't even die. You know, that mode where you can fly, like, forever or whatever? Yeah. Like, you don't even have to do the platforming. I would want to play that. I would have wanted to do that, but, man, just the amount of people that watch Twitch and stuff that don't actually want to play the game. Or, you know, I work with kids, y'all, and, like, how many of them just, like, rave on and on and on about watching Fridays at, at night, nights at Freddy's? Like, they don't play it. They just watch YouTubers play it or something, and, like, 
all the games they watch people play. I'm like, dude, play the game yourself. I mean, I, mean, you know, I, I love like, watching yeah. games, but it's like, dude, if it's a single player game, like, dude, if it's something like Star Fox, like, you know, unless I'm watching somebody like do a speed run or watching a friend like, do it, you know, where they're commentating or if I'm in the chat talking with them, I don't want to like play a game that I know I want to play. You know. Oh yeah. And I feel like that's the same thing that this does. Is like, yeah, you know, I want to just get through. I don't want to have to do deal with any of this. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you want to do that, then just go ahead and watch somebody play a speedrun or something. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with like, you know, because I know in Star Fox 54 that sometimes I didn't see all the routes because you know I didn't know where to go for one, and then. You know, but I just feel like, you know, you get better as a gamer if you actually have to, you know, game instead of, you know, being a stream monster and just watching it. Yo, point them out. Point them out. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like, dude, I, I don't know. <laughs> casual mode. But, yeah, I had the same problem. Like, I mean, I had the same thing where with some of the kids I work with, like, well, before and, like, now, some of the kids I work with don't even, like, play anything except for Madden Mobile, but, you know. That's yeah. another story, but in the past I've had kids that are just like, yo, PewDiePie, PewDiePie, ha ha, and like, yep, and then talk about oh, like, yeah, talking things. about like, all kinds of like, Minecraft YouTubes and all kinds of, you know, that Let's Plays and other people, like, yeah, I, I mean, this none of those that things I are, with sometimes. You always tell me to watch PewDiePie, I'm like, dude, I want to play games, I don't, I don't want to watch some popular streamer just, you know, play Ocarina of Time. Dude, I want to play Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I mean, there's not anything wrong with some of those, I guess. Like, not all those things are, like, bad or whatever. Like, I watch competitive Street Fighter and stuff like that, but that's because I mean, those people are super good at the game, but yeah. You know, you're, like, watching two people play, and they have a completely different style, where it might be a character you never want to pick, for example. Yeah. Or, you know, because, like, I feel like that way in Splatoon a lot of times where... You know, I feel like if Splatoon was a single-player game, like, in the N64 days or something, I'd be like, you know what, all these guns are here, but I'd never actually see them, see them get used. Like, this gun is trash, that gun is trash. Whereas, because I'm the online community, I don't feel like I'm forced to pick another car- or another gun because I'm like, I'm going to see it. But if you're not going to, like, if you're, if you're going to watch, like, a Let's Play or, like, one of the YouTube or stuff like that, don't let that, like, replace the game well, that you're going to play, you know? That's the doing, is that a lot of those people... Oh, yeah. They just want to watch Star Fox. They don't want to play it. Oh, yeah. They'll just, you know, watch Ocarina of Time. I, I was actually in a class with this one guy who was telling me that, yeah, oh, I've seen him time play that game. Oh, yeah, I saw him. Like, dude, like, you're not getting the same experience of the struggle or, you know, like, it's what, like watching somebody play Fox. It's about, like, going through a game, like, from the beginning with a walkthrough. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I mean, even worse than that, actually. Yeah, it's, it's way worse. You're not actually having to put in any effort. You know, you're too busy to even place your thumb a little bit to the left here. Yeah. So, I feel that's how I feel like a fire move. You know, because I could go online and just look up, hey, what is the most optimal path? Instead of somebody just walk me through it or watch a video, I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to challenge. Yeah, not to be, you know, preachy here, but are you a consumer or are you a creator? Or like, you know, are you, how much are you going to take in or how much are you going to actually do in the world? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, like, that's a, the one thing I don't get is that you just get a lot of people that like to do that. And I'm just like, that's one thing I always thought was weird with Johnny is that even though he's, you know, he's more new, but it seems like, you know, he. Like, some way, he, like, almost got lost in a different era where he likes Nintendo games and he's a try-hard and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, some people aren't like that. Yeah, or like, most of the people of his generation and, like, younger are not like that. Yeah, dude, we're, yeah, we're really sounding like old men right now. Most people of his generation. Yeah, are we're old men, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I found a gray hair the other day, so I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I'm a little yeah. old, but yeah, not that, that old, but. I currently only have like maybe three. Yeah, well, I'm not that old, but I'm I'm old enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I was like, yeah. So I was like, I just don't understand why they would do that. And somebody actually brought up something where it was like, man, I forgot the word it was called, but it was like, you know, where old people think that it has to be done this way because that's the way they did it. And oh yeah. There can be no other way. But. Well. 
portray you like that about a lot of things, but you know. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh. laughs> I mean, but, but it's really true with like gaming, you know. As far as yeah. you get better at a game by playing it, you don't get. I mean, you can get better by watching it, but you know, you don't <laughs> really get better by just watching it. It's like driving a car, like you know, when your parents drive a car for you, you, know, you kind of know where to oh, go. Yeah. With all that, but once you actually have to drive, you realize you probably didn't know where to go. Can't watch Fast and, and the Furious and know how to like rig a street race, you know. Yeah, so yeah, that's one of those things I don't get. You know, like I said, you know, I of course watch videos and I of course post videos, so I'm not saying it's bad, but I just don't know why someone would just watch and never actually play. Yeah. Or like labbing in the game and how actually want to fight people. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story, but yeah. You know. Yo, why am I hearing beeps on? on the line and like and then I'm hearing Wii um, U noises all kinds of stuff coming out yeah, your, your was, birthday birthday celebration starting early yeah I was, yeah, I was hitting that button let me hit that gray button yo alright let me talk about some poking tournament yo so the per poke is poking week it is poking week okay don't, I don't mean like poke somebody week I mean it is Pokemon Tekken week Pokemon week and <laughs> guess what is happening this week on on march 17th thursday before the game comes out it'll come out the next day on friday there is a stream of like all like game stops across america had like these tournaments and the finalists for from all that is gonna have like they're gonna be um, in this big tournament in New York, I believe, and they're gonna have like each one of them are gonna be paired with a coach. Yo, coach. Yo. Why heard you wait? I just gotta stop. I heard you say the words all that. And I gotta go. <clears throat> never watched that show. What? You said you never watched it? Yeah. Hello. Check it. Check it. You know we're about to get it all that. Yeah, I never watched it. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay, and the coaches announced were Justin Wong, PG E Sam, uh, who's a oh, and Justin Wong's obviously finding gamer, E Sam, uh, Pikachu guy, Smash Bros, Nairo, probably the second best player in Smash Bros, Tasty Steve, who's a commentator. Oh, I just want to say something that's not a roast, but bruh. Yo, did, is Nairo have any health problems? Like, dude, he was looking tiny, bruh. Yeah, he's always been a real, like, skinny as a real, you know? Dude, I was like, dude, that can't be healthy. Nah, he's dude. always like that. Dude, I mean, they're skinny, like, you know, I was skinny. Oh, uh, yeah. On high school and stuff, but dude, he looked unhealthy skinny, like. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, like, I was like, dude, that looks dangerous. Yeah, every time I've seen him, he's like that, so I don't, I don't know what he's eating, but, or what he's not eating, but, Oh, you know. yeah, I was about to say, what he's not eating. But yeah, Tasty Steve does like Wednesday night fights commentary and stuff like that. So he's gonna be one of the coaches. Uh, NYC Fab, he was the guy that in the poking like in the first poking tournament that they had at uh, the Pokemon World Championships. He played Charizard and got third, I believe. And then and he's also like a big Tekken like he's one of the best Tekken players. Rip is also one of the best Tekken players, and he got first with Pikachu at that um, first poking tournament that they had. I was talking about DK Will. I'm, that was kind of a strange pick, but I guess it's because he lives up there in New York, and he picks Donkey Kong in Smash Bros. and does all right, but he doesn't really do that good. But he has like a stream, and that's kind of popular stuff. So maybe that's why. And then like just a uh, kind of like this dude won't be able to help you all with fighting games, but he'll be there to smile and look nice. Kind of pick was Justin Flynn, and he's like a commentator who. Did the Pokemon World Championships, and if you remember, he was at the Nintendo World Championships commentator, apparently. But, yeah. I don't know why they picked him, but I guess, yep, for the casuals, yep. Well, I mean, how much, I mean, you don't really have to be good at games to be a good coach, though. I guess. Yeah, I guess, but you want to, I don't know, but I feel like Justin Wong would be a lot more help than him. Anyways. I mean, man, it's tough to say, because like I said, you don't necessarily, yeah, I feel like some stream monsters could actually be pretty good coaches, because, you know, you don't necessarily, you know, sometimes it's better to hear from someone that knows they're talking about, but, you know, I don't know, it's like, you know, 
the NBA or the NFL, you know, um, you know, Belichick for the Patriots, you know, he's not the best player in the world. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but I just don't know how how much I know about the game in general. But. Yeah, well, I mean, that would be the problem, is that, you know, it's a new game, so. Yeah. I mean, let's just tell you, hey, I, man, you should space out more. I'm, sh- I'm sure they'll have some time with it. Like everybody will have some early time with it. Actually, they said that in the video. But um, so, do you think it's gonna be a gonna make it as a competitive fighter? You think? I mean, I haven't really seen enough to see, but I mean, yeah. these are pushing for it. That's all you can do, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think the big push will help it. And Kai seems to think that the rock paper scissors style of um, like mechanics that has got will make it like not like good fighting wise or something like that but dude i was trying to tell him they have that in every fighting game like you know grab beats block and block beats attack and attack beats grab is nothing new you know and that's literally in like every fighting game um, but counter yeah, i mean right. counter attack beats attack is a little different but i mean that's just like focus attack beats attack in um street fighter 4. i mean i guess I guess what they're trying to do to make sure that there is, you know, something in place, but, I mean, I don't really understand the game that well. Yeah, I mean, none of us do, so, I, 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 yeah, it's too early to tell, but... Like, I don't understand the whole counter-attack button type deal, yo. I mean, I just Every- don't understand what I'm reading when I, when I see that or hear that. <laughs> it's like everybody actually has a move that beats other attacks um like that beats all or beats most attacks i should say um and so what you would do to beat that because it, and it's usually like a slower move so what you do to beat that is to grab them it's kind of like when ryu does that to focus attack you know like even in smash bros how he does that how you can grab him out of it but if you try and attack him he'll beat it out and punch you in the face that's it's kind of like that but it's not that slow. It's not as slow as that. So, anyway, anyway, but there's gonna be some controller options. They have like a specific pad that they ha- they're making for it, and you can use a pro controller or you can use a game pad. I'm probably going with the game pad. I'll probably use pro controller because, like I said, my uh, game pad is broken. So. Oh, you got a pro controller? Yeah. I didn't know you had one. Yeah, I bought it for a what do you call it? Game play. That's another story, right? But yeah, yeah, I've heard that one before. <laughs> but as far as dude, I've watched a lot of footage on this game. Okay, I've been keeping up with some of the guys. Like some of the guys that have been putting out the early footage are trash, but like Shofu and some of the other guys that know a little bit more at least, uh, kind of what they're doing. Um, from the videos that I've seen, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that these three. Are gonna be pretty good. I would say Mewtwo is gonna be pretty good. He has yeah, like I, I kind of got that from just one little video. It seemed like Mewtwo and Dark Mewtwo or whatever. Shadow Mewtwo, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they have like all kinds of cancels. They got good close range and good long range. I mean, it's not really like they're lacking anywhere. And Gengar, I think it'll be kind of the same. He looks, he looks pretty good. Like you know, he's got all these kind of crazy traps, and he can. I don't know. He just looks good. Garchomp, I know exactly why he looks good. Dude, he has a freaking dude. Have you seen Garchomp? He's like the shark um, character. He uh, he can throw freaking huge tornadoes that that come out and then they uh, bring you back toward him. Like, even if you're blocking. Like, dude, that looks cheap. And I, I literally didn't. I heard he can throw. Oh, you didn't hear it? Oh, I said he can throw out tornadoes that, like huge tornadoes, that go out and then when they're coming back, they drag you back toward him, even if you're blocking. Dude, it looks cheap. And he can also do this dig move where he goes underground and he can come up right in front of your face and attack, or he can just do nothing. And it's like a super bait, and I'm like, dude, that, that looks cheap. But anyways. Anyways... Dude, I thought I would tell everybody who you think they should main. Uh, Trey, I think you could pick a lot of different people, but I think you're, 
I think you're gonna go to Weavile. I think I told you that. Weavile's before. wobble. Because he's like Wolverine, and you know, he's got the traps, kind of like Lex or something, where he can throw out the ice things, and you know, a lot of the characters have traps. But yeah, that's that's a good one. Johnny already said he's gonna pick Gardevoir, and I think that's perfect for him because that's like an angelic type character, just like Pit and Palutena. Perfect. Jambi, I think Chandelure because she's kind of like the mix of uh, Solomon Grundy and Sinestro because she's got like the long long range like spam but then she's got like a command grab as long range she's pretty safe and defensive and stuff like that I think that would work good for him yep Chandelure I even though I hate Chandelure because it's a freaking yeah it's a freaking Chandelure I hate that character Anyways, and I don't know who Kyle will pick. I don't think my my chance is gonna be cheap enough for him. So I would say my champ, but he already was talking about he's not gonna use him. Dude, my champ has this move where it's like Zangief kind of like where he can flex and turn a different color. He flexes and turns orange, but and it makes him go to whatever state. And then like Kyle's like that doesn't even look that good. Like, you know, I, I might not even use it or whatever. I think it's going to be a bill. Like, dude, regardless of whether it's a bill or not, dude, if you have a move where you can flex, I'm going to flex, okay? That's just being honest. And if I have a Splatoon game that I can play, I'm just going to play it. My name is Roar Noah Trey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you weren't supposed to know this. Dude, I can hear the button mashing. It's like, <laughs> dude, I can hear it. Yeah, your button mashing is loud. Oh, speaking of which, um, GameSpot, this is totally random, but GameSpot used to have a show around with uh, PS3 and Wii first came out and stuff. That was called Button Mashing. It was like, when I say button, you say mashing, button, mashing, button, What? Mashing. Dude, how did I never like, What is it about? It was like, it was kind of like a game show S type show where you um, get a game and you gotta like beat a record or like say if it's, you're playing Wii Sports. You gotta be able to hit like uh, 15 balls and yeah. more than the other person. Yeah, it was like, you know, it was like, you know, one of those quirky things, but it was like cool because, you know, it was a video game, so. Oh, yeah, that's, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, it was pretty awesome, but yeah, but then oh, I was getting man. better in the rest of the season. Well, since you've gone to Splatoon land, you wanna go ahead and do the outro? You got anything else to chat about? Oh, uh, no! Yeah, oh, yeah, well. I was gonna say, as far as Pokemon goes, I, I think I'll actually get you know, I was thinking yeah, I wasn't gonna get it, but I think I'll get it because you said it's got like the private lobbies or whatever. Yeah, like where me and you could just play or whatever. I don't know if it has more, like, a lobby where we have more than one person in there or not, but I know I could, like, at least play you and just, like, play you over and over again. Well, I'd hope they'd have that because that'd be dumb if they didn't. But, but yeah. But I don't know if it has, like, um,. Dude, if it had King of the Hill, if it has King of the Hill type mode, oh my gosh, I'd go crazy. That, 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 that's got to be like the best online fighting mode, you know? Yeah, oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, like, oh yeah, so many, so many things you do in a King of the Hill because you can get somebody, see somebody get bodied, or like, you can, like switch to, to Smash Bros and not get the true one back. Yep, I should. <laughs> I guess I could uh, tweet uh, Shepard and ask him what kind of online mode he has since he has it. But yep, he probably would be like, "Who are you?" Yep, and I don't do that type of thing. Oh, yeah, I usually don't do that type of thing. But yep, definitely get in that game, dude. If y'all don't see anything other than podcasts come out on this channel until poking. No, please know that when Pokemon comes out, I <laughs> will be grinding on that game. I will be putting out tutorials for every single yeah, character. You admit you're obligatory, I will be the very best. Yeah. I will be the very best. I already made that joke on, on Meverse, but I'll make it. Yeah, that's okay. But, yes. There will be tutorials for every character, even characters that I hate, even Chandelure. I'll be talking oh, about how much I hate that me. character the whole time. But I'll game. still do one. Maybe. That's if I ever get to get off of my champ and Gigar. But definitely those are coming out. And definitely some online play. You'll definitely see me versus Rono Trey online, me body and his tail in, nah, in Pokemon. Because all I gotta do, let me tell you what's gonna happen. Yo. Game, I'm gonna 
immediately gonna go to single player part. The only problem is I probably won't want to alt my character because I don't. I would just want to jump in. But you'll see me go to single player mode, and then I'll like go to whatever level has level nine computers or wherever they are. I'll just keep fighting them over and over until I can whoop their tail. Then I'll go online. Bro, but you forgot you gotta unlock some of the characters. Right? Yeah, that's dumb. I mean, you don't. I think it's just me too and Shadow me too. So if you don't want to play them, it's not a problem. But yeah, they sound cheap. I mean, but there's like a single player mode where you go through like the league, you know, and you go from bottom, you know, from the bottom to the top. Bottom from the bottom, now we hit. Yep. Bottom, 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 now the whole team. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. But anyways. Although, dude. Oh man, I was gonna say this just makes me want to play Mario Tennis. <laughs> but dude, that was the best part about Mario Tennis is going on there. Man. Dude. Oh, speaking of which, let me just use the E word. But dude, if you have not played Mario Tennis. For uh, GBA. Yeah, that was the best. You play that? Yeah. Were you cra were you crazy? The, the, the whole story mode and everything. Oh yeah. Dude, what is that game? Not awesome. Oh yeah. Dude, that game, dude. I actually actually didn't own it, but um, I went over to my cousin's house, and uh, she was like friends with this one guy who had it, and like he just let me play it for the whole weekend. I beat it. Yeah, dude, that game was awesome. That game's yeah, that, that's one of my yeah, that's one of my favorite Mario sports games. Dude, it was made by the same people that made Golden Sun. So I mean, you haven't played it in a while, but they had like the same type of font and everything. Like they had this weird um, system that they had for when you did things, and it was the same as in Golden Sun. It was made by Camelot, I think it was. But mm -hmm. yeah, it had like the same music. The music sounded almost exactly like Golden Sun, but it did. I would go ahead and say that was a better RPG than Golden Sun. <laughs> I, I know that sounds bad, but... Dude, but look where it, it fell to with this latest Mario Tennis being absolute hot garbage. Yeah, that's why I was so excited for it, because I was like, dude, they're probably going to make it good like that, but no. Yeah, I want to smack them for doing that. But anyways, back to Pokemon, yep. Yo, Suicune is the only character, like, literally, I think I've seen, like, every other character people playing with, but I haven't seen anybody touching Suicune, and that is the blue dog, um, that shoots, like, the ice beams, you know, you saw him spamming that in the tournament, remember? Yeah, yeah. but I don't know what all else that character can do, but I'm interested to learn about that character. Definitely gonna be Gengar, my champ, um, definitely gonna be top two on the list but I also mentioned in almost every other character like Pikachu, Libre, Charizard, all of them. Suicune, Lucario, Garchomp, Blaziken, you know all of them dude. They're all awesome. Other than Chandelure dude I promise you I would never play you with Chandelure because that character is so dumb. Dude that Pokemon is dumb. Who <laughs> who decided to make a Pokemon out of Chandelier? Dude. That is dumb. Yeah, I won't lie. I literally thought the same thing when I first saw it. I was like, dude, what the heck? Yeah, that's dumb. I want to smack him for doing that. And the, I already said that there's no plans for DLC. But, dude, there, dude once they see oh, how much that game sells, so, yeah. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, that has to be a lie. Because freaking Hitmonchan is not in this game. And you're telling me that the first, like, Fighting Pokemon is not in this game. Like the the poster poster child for Fighting Pokemon, Hitmonchan, is not in this game. And Hitmonlee, I guess. But still, like when you played the original Pokemon games, you went to the fighting tournament, like fighting um dojo. You had to beat all the um Karate Master guys there. You beat the final guy, and he let you have one of his Pokemon. And it was either Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee. Dude, they gotta be in this freaking game. I know they're trying to be diverse and stuff, but they gotta be in this freaking game, okay? Anyways, this game's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be covering it like crazy, so check that out. Yo, so you wanna do an outro right quick? Alright, let's do it. Yo, Rono Trey, thanks for coming again, and as always, uh, joining me and chopping it up about all this stuff, so where can they hit you up? Where can people find out more about Yo, you? Yo, you can find your boy. Rowan Ho Trey trying to get some bodies on the Splatoon network. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I'm like in the middle of a war zone. 
Alright, you can buy Roanoke Trey at Trey Roanoke 15. Trey 15 slash Roanoke R slash Trey 15 on the YouTube. Watch me upload some videos where I'm bopping cats. Yep. And not bodying, just bopping. And on Twitter at. On uh, Twitter at Roanoke Trey 15, where you can tell. Catch me talking about the ladies, the Kappa, except no Kappa. <laughs> and on Meverse at. You can find me um, having like uh, weird relationships with like former friends where they don't want to acknowledge me at Roanoke Trey 15. And on Twitch at. <laughs> no, you can find me randomly oh streaming several night vids or Mario Maker vids where I get like four people watching at Roanoke Trey 15. <laughs> hey, four people's not that bad, dude. <laughs> but, uh,. You can find me on this channel, or on uh, Kings Hockey, or on O-Trade. And you can also email us both for the podcast, que- for, you know, podcast topics, questions, or whatever you want to, you know, do. And that email at opkingshockey at gmail.com. That's my email. And, um... Oh, let me also put a shout out for PC2. PC2, you gotta read Kingdom, man. Yeah, like, man. Ignore the, ignore the anime, but read the manga and bruh. You been chatting with him about that lately or something? No, I haven't talked to him lately. That's why I, yeah. uh, that's why I said it. I hope he still listens to the show on, on occasion. Yeah, he's um, cool, dude. Yeah, shout out to PC2. Super cool dude. Okay. And then YouTube, I said YouTube. Twitter, Kings Hockey, or Kings underscore Hockey. And then Meverse, OP Kings Hockey. And finally, Twitch at uh, Kings Hockey. So, all those links are in the description. Um, yo, yo, we got more links than Triforce Heroes because we only got three. Expect the new One Piece chapter coverage next week. Expect lots of poking talk, lots of poking smack talk about how I bodied all those fools except for Kai because he ain't going to come out for a week. He already put that out there that he was not going to do that because he's already scared. All right? He's already scared. But anyways, so all that and more next time. Thanks for joining us this time. Peace. Did that delete?